Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you all the ways that you can play Minecraft with your friends in 2024. And I went ahead and ranked all these ways of playing Minecraft with friends in order from what I think are the best ways to what I think are not the best ways. OK, let's get started. Now, in number one, you have a free server that you can make hosted on your own computer to play Minecraft with friends. I'm going to leave links for every single article and every single way of playing Minecraft with friends that is going to be mentioned in this video. But yeah, number one is to make a Minecraft server. This is something that is completely free to do. You host the server on your computer, you port forward the server with your IP address and your friends could join you. And it's like any other Minecraft server, but you are the admin, you are the host of the server. And I'm going to leave a guide for this in the description. In number two, you have the essential mod. And this one could have easily been number one. But, you know, I think having a server is better than having the essential mod. But the essential mod is ultimately very similar to having a server. What the essential mod does is that it adds this menu, this friends menu that you could pretty much add your friends and play with them turning a single player world into a multiplayer world it's pretty much the same way you will do it in bedrock you know those of you that play minecraft bedrock you have a world and you could turn it into multiplayer by inviting friends and yeah i put this one in number two because even though it is free and everything it's free as well as making a minecraft server i don't think it's as good as having your own minecraft server because it does have some limitations whenever it comes to installing it it might be a little bit complicated to either install the fabric version the forge version or maybe do it through the installer anyways we do have videos on the channel as you can see you have a video here we also have articles in our website and i'm gonna leave that article in the description of this video as well for you guys to check it out now number three is using an online hosting service like for example apex hosting i mean you could use any online service but i personally like apex hosting because i have used a couple others and you know they're a little bit slow however apex hosting is not for everyone because apex hosting is a paid service so this is pretty much you pay and you get a server set up within like five minutes it's everything is pretty safe and the good thing about this and the advantage that you get over making your own free server is that this is hosted online and you're not using your ip address or your computer resources for example this free server that you could make yourself for free, which like I said, I think it's one of the best options, is only online while your computer is on and while you have the server open. Whenever you turn off your computer, let's say that you want to go to sleep and you want to turn off your computer, the server is going offline and your friends won't be able to join. With Apex Hosting, this server will be open 24 seven or as long as you wish to, because you could turn off the server from your phone, from the, from the server console, and you could pretty much control the server remotely without having to use your computer. I think Apex Hosting is a great option if you can afford it. However, since I know this is a paid option, if you use that first link in the description, you'll get 25% off Apex Hosting. I'm going to make sure you get 25% off Apex Hosting by using that first link in the description. And this is way number three of playing Minecraft with friends. In number four, you have Minecraft servers. There is thousands, thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of Minecraft servers online pretty much these servers are servers that are open to everyone and they are free to join and they have lots of game modes you have like skyblock survival the bed wards you have a lot of modes that you can play on these servers and of course you have the regular vanilla survival servers and to join them you just copy the ip address in minecraft you go to multiplayer you click add server and you type the server address or you paste that server address that you just copied online and then the server will appear here and you could join it and it's that simple and then your friends will have to do the same to join the servers and these servers have a ton of options but the reason I put them in number four and not any higher is because I think these are not that great if you're trying to play with friends because you might have to share the server with a lot of other people as well as not every server is going to be online all the time some servers go out under maintenance so maybe you want to play with your friends and unconveniently the server is under maintenance and you can't play for that time so there's a lot of inconveniences with these community servers if you're trying to play a survival mode you might get raided because there's tons of other people in the world so yeah that's the reason why i put this as number four and not any higher now number five in this list is playing a lang hosted game and the reason that this is number five is because for those of you that don't know Playing a LAN game means that you and your friends have to be under the same internet connection to be able to connect to each other. This is quite simple to do and it's completely free of course. All you have to do is join that world that you want to play or create that world, press escape, open to LAN and then just add a port number in here or just leave it as default. If you leave it as default, just remember that port number and then you start the LAN world. As you can see, you have that local game hosted on that port in there, 49797. For you might be a different number and then your friends are going to join you from another computer. They're going to head over to multiplayer and they're going to add local host 
and they're going to add local host and then they're going to add the little two dots and then they're going to add that port number that your local host the game had whenever you created it and that's how they are going to join you and yeah that is completely free to do but like i said it requires your friend to be under the same roof as you that is why i'm putting that as number five and not any higher on the list anyways guys that has been everything from me i hope this video was useful and you figure out how to play minecraft with friends in 2024 and just remember that we have articles and videos for every single way that i'm set on on this video so if you want to create a free server for example we have videos and articles on that and i'm going to leave the links in the description anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you found it useful don't forget to leave a like and a comment and as always bye bye